Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon. In the last episode, we said that we were going to be doing a lot of... Where am I? There we go. Uh, we were going to be doing a lot of um, legendary hunting this episode for the Gen 6 legendaries, because we're pretty close to being totally done with Gen 6. Uh, we have everything except for five legendaries and those legendaries would be diancy yvettel i think that's how you pronounce it zygarde volcanian and something else and i don't remember the last one. Oh, hoopa yeah we've seen hoopas a million times so we still don't have one um but in order to get zygarde there is a very specific and very complicated thing that we have to do uh which will include getting some of these and then also going to ultra space real quick let's do that ow can i just teleport back here let's just do that make sure that i can teleport right back uh, of course it's fun lots and lots of fun bring another healer out bam uh boom bam bomb beam Boom. And bonk. Okay. So we're here. We're going to go to this biome right here. Whee! Uh, is this... This is stone, right? Let's find out. Ultra space stone. I don't think that's right. Let me look it up. Okay, yeah. Here. We need to be here. Uh, we need seven ultra deep stone, and then actually I think we can just walk back to the overworld because this is here. What is that? Elytra? That's weird. I wonder what that's doing there. Hup! Did I make it? Hello? Let me in! Let me- Hello? There we go, jeez. What am I doing down here? Where am I? This is a weird place. There's coal here. <laughs> what is this? Why does it look like this coal was growing here? It's pretty weird. Okay. That was odd. Anyway. Uh. Oh, I have my haste on. Where am I? I'm in the side of my mountain. Interesting. Okay. Anyway. Let's go back up. To the oh, To the house. I didn't put my things back on. Thank God I'm amazing at this game. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is... We also don't have very many emeralds, but we're going to grab these. Okay, so we need two things. We need one sunstone and one moonstone. And lucky for me, we have one sitting in here. Um, we also need some glass panes, which I have some. Which is good, and we also need a PC. So I believe the first thing is like this. Wait, no, this. This is one of the things, like that. Here we go. Zygarde Cube sells 100 cores 5. Okay, good. Glad it shows it like that. Then another thing is like this, 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 and that. And that's a reassembly unit. I don't know if I'm going to have, be able to pick this back up when I place it down. I'm a little scared. Ah, okay. It broke my ceiling. If this doesn't give it to me. Okay, good. It literally broke my ceiling. <laughs> that's stupid. Um, Alright, I'll put it in my bedroom then. Or maybe I'll put it up here. Do I have... That's annoying. I have to do this now. Um, let's put it. Let's put it up here. There we go. Okay. So I need to. Why does it put it sideways? Oh, it puts it directionally. That's stupid. Okay. Well then, let's put it against this wall. Right there. Okay. Good enough. Smack this in there. Okay. So now. I believe there should be random 
cells that spawn on the sides of trees. So what we're actually gonna do is do some nether travel. Um, 15, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there. We're gonna do some nether travel because we actually need to pick up 50. So it says 0 out of 100 and 0 out of 5. Basically how Zygarde works is there is a 10% form, a 50% form, and a 100% form or complete form. I figured that we would want the complete form for our collection, but everywhere you look it up online, the 50% form is the first one that's listed. So in order to get the 50% form, you need 50 cells and one core. In order to get the complete form, you need 100 cells and two cores, and the 10% is 10 cells and one core. So we need to find a core, and then also, I wonder if they can spawn in on man-made logs. But apparently they spawn on the side of high. Hello. Okay. Neat. <laughs> what are you doing here? Ouch. That hurt. Oh, good. He burned him. Nice. That was awesome. Okay. Probably gonna kill me. Yep. What about... Lunala. Put it to sleep. Boop. Oh, but it failed because it's already burned. That's right. Okay, let's try a moon guy's beam. Doesn't affect him. Weird. Okay, I can't do anything with this guy then. Um. Let's try a. If he hits me first, I'm dead. Yeah. Huh. I actually might not win this. Ow. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Just survive. Just survive, Lapras. Just survive one one hit. Nice! Go, Lapras! Let's go! Let's go, Lapras! That was awesome. Okay. We survived. Anyway. Yeah, so we're gonna do some nether exploration because we just need to walk around and I guess... Uh, these cells spawn on trees. So I have to, like, be on very close lookout around trees. Let me make sure that... Hold on, let me see if there's, like, a... Something I can do. I don't think so. I think I just I think it just automatically does it, but let me make sure. Yeah, so I just have to have the cube in my inventory. Apparently having it means that every chunk just starts randomly generating cells and cores on the sides of logs and grass blocks um over time. But if a chunk is has been spent like has had more than 30 minutes of player time spent in it then it stops generating i don't know if that's after the cube is in your inventory or if it's like if it memorizes how long you've already been in the chunk so if so this chunk would not spawn any because i've been here you know much longer than 30 minutes i've been here hours and hours so that might be why we don't see any i don't know how fast it is that they generate in i'm kind of worried that they generate slowly Meaning that if I do travel somewhere in the nether, and then I start walking, uh, whoopsies, whoa, that almost fell. Um, and then I start walking, that we will not generate them because I'll be moving too quickly through chunks, but hopefully that's not true. Either way, we're going to travel, I don't know, I don't want to go that far, so I think like... About a thousand blocks. We're gonna go northeast this time. See what we can find. Some biomes we're looking for. Desert lakes. Uh, because that's where Volcanium spawns. Um, we're looking for Taiga Mountains. Not Taiga Hills. Taiga Mountains. Because that's where Ivetal spawns. Upa, we obviously know we can find in deserts. Um, what else? Zygarde we're working on. Xerneas we already have. And there should be five. I've listed four. I keep forgetting the other one. I don't know. But either way. Uh oh, Diancie. Yeah, we can work on Diancie again. Uh maybe on our way back too. We can work on that as well. That's uh underground in a mountainous biome in the morning. <laughs> so that's a really interesting one. Very, very difficult obviously because it's very specific holy moly okay hi let's land right here at least we're moving quickly this way i shouldn't have said that i'm gonna hit a wall now 
Yep, aren't I? I hit one right now, aren't I? Um, anyway, yeah, so Diancy's gonna be a really hard one. Um, but we're just gonna have to spend a lot of time in caves, in a mountain biome, I guess. Which is no big deal. Ooh, look at this. Nice, big, open spot. Okay, yeah, and then this is where we hit our... Our end over here, isn't it? Oh, can get around. Uh, can I make that? Hopefully. Whee! I can, barely. Jeez. Cool. Okay, we're traveling quickly here. We're traveling more on the X than on the Z, though. Kind of want to keep it even and go, like, exactly a thousand on both. Uh, but it's no problem if we're off by a little bit on one and not the other. Anyway, um, yeah. So we're going to look for those biomes on the way back. If we find them, we'll stop there until we get the legendary. Um, if we find a mountain biome, which obviously we will multiple times, we'll stop there and spend some time in caves just to see. All right, let's go a little bit more on the z then oh that's the x okay let's go this way on the z um yeah so we'll hang out in caves there we'll just like dig straight down and see if we can find big caves underneath and we'll hang out mornings there um but yeah so that's the plan um hopefully we find at least one of the biomes that we're looking for because i look through the whole map we don't have a taiga mountains or a desert lakes anywhere we have never found one of those things so um we need to find one uh so we're just gonna randomly explore and hope that we find it hopefully uh but we'll see anyway um i'll see you guys when i get to where i want to be all right here we go we are at 1000 on everything Whoopsies. My bad. Bonk. Bink, bink, bink. Bink, bink, bink. Bonk, bonk. Stink. Alright, off we go. Let's see what we get on the other side. I suppose. Hopefully some good stuff. We're underground. Tell me we're in the mountains. That would be amazing. <laughs> okay, how far underground? 20. We are deep, deep underground. Holy crap. Um, maybe I can climb out a little bit by going like this. Let's see how far. Great Lake Isles. Interesting. Okay, that didn't get me up very high. I have 20 blocks to go or so. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know what Great Lake Isles is. I don't think I've ever into a great lakes biome that sounds interesting okay that's my dog shaking um let's see if this is something interesting i suppose ah i'm glad that i switched that back actually okay get out of here i think i'm underwater because i heard a corefish it would make sense though because we're in great lakes oh it's I'm at 65 now. Oh god. Okay, wait. I hear a bunch of core fish. That should mean that there's surface. Right? Hello? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, I was close. I was close to the surface. Oh. Yeah, I was digging up right in the middle of a... This is interesting. <laughs> what is this place? This is crazy. Okay, I'm in a Great Lakes, I guess. There's a ton of water. Oh, and here's our mountain biome, and it's turning morning. Okay, this is actually uh, a perfect place to be. I think I'll go back underground then and see what kind of caves we can find. And it's minimum or maximum Y50, I think. Um, that I that I that it can spawn at. So here comes sunrise, sunrise, and then so zero to five is morning. So we'll just be underground for a lot of it. Okay, there's caves around. That's good. We need that. Uh, 
doesn't seem like there's big caves or anything. Okay, great. Oh, all right. Let's chill right here. And maybe just sit here underground. Uh, or we can explore, I guess. Okay, terrible cave. Um, yeah, we're in mountains, though. I don't know. Let's see, follow? There. Um, there's some caves around. Most of them are lava, though. Hmm. Maybe this way. Over this way. See what we can find over here. It looks like there's a nice big open spot over here. Okay, so 0 to 5 should be our morning. I think sunrise counts as morning too, though, so hopefully that's good. I guess every time we do this, we can check to see... We can just walk around and try to get platinum as well, because it's always good to have extra platinum. Alright, let's see what we got here. It is currently daytime, so officially morning. I know that it's, I know for sure that five to, zero to five is part of the morning time. So this would be part of it. And here's a cave system. Cool. We've got some, some silver. Wow, I got a lot of stuff by going through there. Grab some silver, why not? We've got four minutes to try to spawn in Diancy. So let's see what we can get. All right, Bunnelby. We got Diglett, and that's the end of that cave. Going back, we got a couple branches this way. Over here, lava, lava. We got, go away. Oh, there's diamond right here. Cool. Move, Knockly. Boom. Okay, diamond. Beautiful. Okay, what about this way? Ah, a nice open big cave. Interesting. Um I suppose I suppose I don't need to be in caves. I just need to be around them. So I guess maybe the best way to do this is probably just to dig down to like Y25 or something in like a straight hole and then just hang out in that hole and all of the dark caves around me, if if Diancy will spawn, it can spawn just that way. So that might be our way of doing it from here out. Anyway, I'm going to wait until five and then if it's not, if we haven't gotten a spawn then we will head back up okay didn't get anything during that morning so we will continue too bad i don't have my my plates with me and i still haven't found a freaking okay follow there we go still haven't found a freaking uh what is with my map that's weird i still haven't found a normal plate Okay, so we're going home, which is... Uh, da, 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 da. Why can't I figure this out? This way and this way. Hi, Charmander. Yeah, we're going this way. West, southwest. Cool. All right. Oh, yeah, and we got to be checking the sides of trees now. For these new little cells. Oh yeah, and grass blocks, I guess. So they can spawn anywhere, but I gotta just keep an eye out because if I like miss them, that kind of sucks. Is this a? Yeah, I thought that was a move tutor. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll just head out over this way. Through a forest is probably a good idea. Again, I don't know how quickly these cells generate. Like, I don't know if I need to sit in a biome for a while for them to generate, or if they're just going to pop up as I'm, like, walking through a biome. Like, I don't really know. We have... 
we have the thing in our inventory. So I guess we'll see. I guess we'll just start walking through the trees. And they can spawn on any... Oh, look at this. We got a taiga here. That's cool. We're looking for taiga mountains, so we should stick to a taiga. Yeah, it looks like they might generate slowly then. I don't know. Maybe that means... But then, but then it says after 30 minutes they stop spawning. So, I don't know. They can't generate that slowly. Because... That wouldn't make any sense. Okay, let's see. Mm, guess we can stick to this. Check the whole place out. See if we can find a taiga forest or taiga mountains. I don't know what they look like. I don't know what taiga mountains looks like. I'm guessing it looks like mountains with a taiga on it. Oh, this was a really small taiga. Okay. I, maybe I'll like do like a like a straight line thing like go a little bit one way and then a little bit another way and then a little bit the other way I don't know oh yeah we should be looking for gravelly mountains too also important and then during the day yeah, so I don't know. I don't know, like, if I have to be... Oh, yeah, I guess I could also... Okay, now I'm in a mountain again. I could... During the night, just sleep. And then spend another morning underground. Let's do that. I'm not gonna do it every night, though. Just nights... Just, like, when it's convenient. Like when I'm in a mountain biome, like when it's turning night or something like that. Um, okay, yeah, I'll go down like that. <sighs> All right. Got a lot of extra food in here if I ever if I run out of food, which I think I will, actually. This also gives a good opportunity for things to spawn, the Zygarde cells to spawn. And they're supposed to be like little green like kite looking things they look like kites they're shaped like a kite but like it concerns me that i haven't found one yet because that means that they take a while to generate meaning that the whole point of this the whole point of this trip besides just finding new biomes is going to be nulled because i'm not going to be finding any cells which would suck really bad I hope that's not the case. Okay, it's morning. Let's get down. Down, down, down. And let's hope for the best. Yeah, let's go down to like, I don't know, 20. 20? 20 is a good spot, I think. Because then most of the caves would be good spawning locations. Any caves nearby. Looks like there is there are some good cave systems nearby actually. Let's stop at twenty five. Right there. All right. I'm gonna wait here for the next four minutes and see if something spawns. Okay. Here's a secret. I left the game on overnight. You guys can tell by the amount of things that are trying to attack me right now. Uh. I left the game on overnight because I wanted to. See if the Zygarde cells are working. And it appears as if they are not. Look at this. Tons of bosses and stuff. Ouch. Oh, that barely did anything. What? <clears throat> Ouch. Okay, hold on. If he's slower than Zamazenta, then this will work. I mean, faster. Nope, it didn't work. Metal Burst failed. <sighs> okay, uh, should have used close combat. It wasn't very effective. Yeah, it really wasn't. Oh, good. It's confused. Good. Moonblast it. Uh, that was okay. It's gonna hit me this time. It's still confused. Good. Nice. Giga Impact does a lot. Okay, we got. We can survive, guys. We can survive, guys. It's quick it. Ouch. Okay. Lunala, come in with a Moongeist beam. Boom. Oh my god, so close. Oh, but I'm dead. Okay. Let's hope, let's hope for an ice beam. 
Nope. Come on, Caesar! Come on, Caesar! You can do it! Yeah! Yeah! Nice! That was awesome. Anyway, um, yeah, looks like the Zygarde cell spawns do not work because let's just confirm that I do have the cube in my inventory and there are zero cells on trees and grass blocks around us. Oh, I thought that was one. It's just a metapod. Yep, there's nothing around us. So that's fun. <clears throat> there's apparently another Venusaur boss down here. There sure is. Hello. Okay, do another overheat. Oh, that guy barely hit me at all. Beautiful. Do another one of those. Oh, oh, I did do it again. Okay. This guy's barely hurting me at all, but now I'm barely hurting him at all. Overheat loses its effectiveness with time for some reason. Click, 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 click. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a flamethrower will do better. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Uh, can I do it with just Skeledurge? Oh, I'm so close. I did it. Yeah. Everybody gets XP. Bonk. Okay, and then the Beedrill, we never beat the Beedrill, ever, 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 ever. So if this one's purple, maybe we can do it. Yeah, so I gotta figure out why Zygarde cells aren't working. I looked in the config because I wanted to increase the, uh, the prevalence of them. Oh, man. I wanted to increase the spawn rate, uh, but there's no way to do that. Let's see if I can put it to sleep. Nope, it's one-shotting me. Beedrills are freaking amazing, I guess. This isn't going to work at all. Nope. All right. It's probably going to be faster than me. Oh, it killed me in one shot. That's insane. Well, oh, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Beedrill. But yeah, it looks like they're not working, which I don't know what that really means for us. I think that means we're going to have to cheat them in. Um... Because I don't know how we'll, like, they're clearly not working. I literally just let this sit for, what would that have been, like, ooh, look at this, bonk. <gasps> oh! Let's go, let's go, that's amazing, okay. Oh, that's amazing, I love when that happens. Okay, anyway, oh my god, we needed one of these so bad. Because if we find, like, Hoopa... We've tried Hoopa so many times to no avail, but so hopefully we can use it. Okay, um, yeah. So I guess we're going to have to just cheat this in. I don't really know. I don't know, actually. I might just have to Poke give Zygarde, or Poke spawn Zygarde, um, and then figure out how to do the type right. Uh, unless there's like a way to actually spawn in a Zygarde cell, maybe? And then I could just spawn 50 of them in, and a core, and just call it a day. Add them to my... Hi, Stantler. Um, add them to my Zygarde cube and just call it a day. Yeah, because I left this on for like 10 hours, maybe 12. I was just sitting in that hole all night. And, um, nothing. We see nothing. So, clearly they're not working. I looked in the config and it said spawn, spawn Zygarde cells true. So they should be spawning. Poke spawn. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's hilarious. Oh, I was in a hills biome, I guess. Verizian, Zacian, Cobalion, Zamazenta, Terrakian. All five of those guys. That's crazy. There were so many throughout time. And I guess they all despawned. That's funny. Bosses spawn and then stay there, but legendaries spawn and they just leave. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, so, I don't know if there's, like, a Poke spawn. Poke, oh. Oops. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Poke spawn. Zygarde. No, that's just a Zygarde. Let's see. Zygarde, no. Poke. Yeah, I don't think so. 
I think what I could do would be game of creative and then see if these exist here. Yeah, Zygarde Cell and Zygarde Core. So they're supposed to like spawn in and look like this. And then what I think I do is go like this. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I can do it that way. That's good to know. Um. Metapod. So I'm going to just assume that on the way back from this trip, if they were actually spawning, uh, I would have collected 50 by the end of it. So we'll, we'll do that when we get back, I guess. Got another one. I can just... Um, we'll do that when we get back from this trip, I guess. Just spawn in 50 of them and then collect them all and a core. And then we can do Zygarde when we're back. Um, but anyway, I'm going to continue exploring. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. I've got good news. We have found a Taiga Mountains. I think it's small because we're in it right now you can see on the biome thing but i think it's small because over here is giant spruce taiga yeah okay so all of this right here is taiga mountains i believe i'm trying to spawn this thing that whatever it is um i believe i'm, I'm trying to spawn it at night so i guess i'll spend the days Chopping down trees and clearing space for it to spawn in this biome. I've just literally been going to I've been going to every taiga that I've seen while exploring and just checking to s just opening F3 and checking to see if it's taiga mountains and finally we found one, thank goodness, on our way home. Um, another secret. I haven't played the game for like five months <laughs> i haven't played pixelmon in like several several months maybe not five that might be an exaggeration but uh definitely three probably four it's been a long time um like i said we're at that part of the game now where motivation to play it is quite low since everything just takes a really 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 long time and most of my gameplay is just sitting and waiting for things to spawn now. Um, so, you know, low motivation to play. I'm going to finish the series. There's no way I'm scrapping the series. I already have 80-something episodes on it. So there's no way that it's getting scrapped, so don't worry. Um, I mean, not that you're worried, because if you're hearing this, then I definitely did finish the series, and it's coming out. Um, so, yeah. But that's where I'm at with this big hiatuses and that's why that's why even though um i can't get comment feedback oops that's annoying um even though i can't get comment feedback oh yeah i bought a bunch of tms by the way let me put all those away actually um yeah so even though i can't get comment feedback like live comment feedback not that i get a lot of comments anyway um that's the one downside to recording all of these episodes in advance is that anybody that wants to give me tips and wants to see them used and feel like I'm not just ignoring them <laughs> in the next episode, um, that can't happen by the way I record things because I record all the entire series in advance and then post it all once I'm done with it. So, But that's the good thing about it is that <clears throat> if I fall off playing the game, there is no hiatus in the actual posting of the series. You know, if I if I went missing for four months on this series, that would be reflected in the fact that there's no videos on this series for four months. But since I pre-record all of my episodes, that means that for you guys, there's no lapse in time at all, which is nicer than if I just went missing and uh, interrupted the schedule of the series. At least I think so. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here until... Yvettel spawns. I kind of had to remind myself of what we we're doing. I remember that Zygarde cells weren't working, so we're just going to spawn it in when we get home. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. And we're just going to consider that this trip would have been enough of a trip to get the 50 cells that we need 
in order to spawn the 50% form of Zygarde. And again, we're spawning the 50% form because when you look up Zygarde on Bulbapedia, that is the very first one that comes up, and that is how we have been doing the whole series. Um, the very first form of any Pokemon that comes up, that's the one going into our official collection. So, that is what we're doing. But anyway, so I'm going to sit around, chop trees all day, and wait through the nights and see if we get lucky and find your battle. We're not leaving without it, so yeah. See you guys in a bit. Okay, okay, hold on. Literally right after stopping that recording, I got a Zekrom spawn, which we don't have. Okay, it spawns on... Oh, I see it, I think. Is this it? No, that's a boss, isn't it? That's a Heracross. Where is this thing? It spawns on land. It doesn't fly, I don't think. So it should be around here somewhere. I think. Where am I? Zekrom! Where are you, buddy? Spawn in the giant spruce taiga biome. Okay, so it should be around here somewhere. Don't want to lose this guy. I think I see it. Over there? Is that it? Aha! So we don't have a Zekrom, right? He's pretty heavy, so I'm going to look him up. Is this him? I see something weird. There he is. Hi. Hello, Zekrom. Wow, you're a scary looking guy. Okay, I'm going to look up information about him. Maybe we can use heavy balls and get a quick cat. As I thought, he is quite heavy. So in theory, if we false swipe him, boom. Doesn't do a lot, but he doesn't do much to me. Do it some more. He's just doing status moves on me. Good, good, good. Ouch, a little bit of damage. Caesar is good, though. Comes back with the the bell or whatever we have on. Leftovers, I think. I think I got a crit hit in there. Get him down to 0.4. And we're going to even bring out Lunala. Let's guarantee this. Bam. We're going to Hypnosis. Zekrom's asleep. 0.4 health. And we are going to Heavy Ball him for a guaranteed catch on the first try. 33%. Yep. <laughs> it's easy as that. Thank goodness I figured out Heavy Ball's work on so many of the legendaries. Because that is really simplifying um, our stuff here. Okay, what do we have in here? We have... Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I got an. I accidentally got another uh, legendary while on this trip. Anyway, that was uh that was nice to be able to catch that because I think that's a Gen Five guy. And I'm. Have we done Gen Five yet? Let's check. We're on Gen Six right now, which starts with. Um, we have done Gen Five. I think. No. This is Gen Five. This is Gen Six. Maybe. That's Gen 4. Maybe Zekrom's Gen 4. Or maybe it is Gen 5. Wow, that would be amazing, because we're super close to being completely done with Gen 5. Which would be awesome, an awesome feeling. We just need one more Oshawott. And then... Wait, is that for real? Hold on. Am I, like, misunderstanding? It starts here. Bam, bam. 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 Wow, Gen 5 is huge. Okay. Yeah, and then goes all the way to here. I think Zekrom's one of these guys. Let's see. Zekrom. 644. 644. This is 600. 630. Yep. 636, 642, 43, 44. Wow, that leaves three... Three... That's awesome. That leaves three legendaries from Gen 5, and then also just one more Oshawott. And we are done with Gen 5. That would be such an awesome feeling to have every Pokemon from a generation. That would be great, because Gen 1 we don't even have that done yet. In fact, we, <laughs> we're not even close to Gen 1. We're missing two Squirtles and uh, the two birds, which is going to take quite a while, I would say. 
Still haven't done, done Gen 2. I think that's the one I want to do next. Gen 3, we're missing some of the starters. We need to evolve that, that Torchic sometime soon. We're missing that guy, which is annoying because we still need the Gravelly Mountains or whatever it's called. Um, lots of legendaries from Gen 2. Gen 3, we need to evolve Turtwig. Oh, yeah, we have Torterra, so we're actually done with Turtwig. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got our Chimchars we need to evolve. We don't have any of the water ones from Gen 3. What is that, Totodile? Wait a minute, what? We don't really have a Totodile. Yeah, we have two Totodiles. Okay, I guess I'm forgetting which water uh, Pokemon is in Gen 3. Yeah, I don't know what it is, actually. Why can't I remember it? Is it... No, it's not Mudkip. That's Gen 2. Whatever. Either way, Gen 3 is like a big one that we need to do. Wait, I thought we did Gen 3. Hold on, I'm getting this wrong. This is Gen 2. Yeah, okay. That's Gen 2. This is Gen 3, starting with Trico. So that's the one we're like pretty much done with. Gen 4 is the one we have a lot of work to do on. Yes. Got quite a few things to pick up there. I was all the way back here. Gen 5, we have worked on. We're almost done. Gen 6 is what we're working on right now, which is a very short one. And we've got everything except for the legendaries, so that's why we're trying to catch Diancy and hopefully Yvettel and then also Zygarde, and that will pull us very close to the done with Gen 6. Gen 7 we've worked on. Just legendaries for that one. Oh, that's right. More Ultra Beasts, which I'm super annoyed that we still don't have a Snack Attacka. Whatever. Um, Gen 8, need another Sobble. Mm, yep. Oh, yeah, and then this guy. And a couple of the legendaries from that. And we got that, this guy. I remember that this is... I can put him there now. Let me do that. Boom. I remember that Anoramis is at the end of Gen 8. I'm just brushing myself up with our whole progress. And then we discover that Gen 9 is mostly Pokemon that don't spawn naturally yet, so we'll be we'll be spawning all of those babies in for myself. Um, but we'll figure out which ones we can actually catch. And yeah, it's gonna fill in all the gaps. But cool. Okay. So great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're doing really well. I should have been chopping trees all day, but uh, I'll get back to it now. Happy to have Zekrom. Puts us really close to the end of Gen 5, which is really cool, uh, because to finish up a generation completely would be an amazing feat, and would put us so close to the end of the series. So yeah, but I'm going to continue doing this, and we're going to get Yvettel tonight. I, I am calling it right now. See you guys then. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention? And why I'm gonna stop chopping trees? This freaking guy spawns in the air. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess having trees uh, missing would actually probably help it a little bit, because there'd be a tiny bit of extra airspace, but he probably spawns all the way up there. I don't know what Y levels um, it spawns. But yeah, it spawns in the sky. So I'll still get rid of the trees. Uh, because it will give, like, just in case, you know, there's, like, a range of how high it can spawn. Like, if it's from, like, 60 to 120 or something, we're already at 100 at the highest point here. Like, up here, we're at Y100. So, you know, if it goes up to 120 or something like that, then it would be useful to have all of this extra airspace. So I guess I'll keep doing this. But, not totally necessary. It should just spawn in the air. So that's... That's good, <laughs> I guess. Anyway. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Hi. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Weird. Um, let's try to get this guy. I didn't know. I guess. Whoa. That's not good. Uh. Okay. 
I can try to put it to sleep. Good. Sleeping. I don't want to hit it with anything, really. This looks heavy enough, so I'm going to assume that it is. And just start chucking heavy balls at it. And hope for the best. Broke free. Awake. Ow. I missed. Hit it again. Throw. Broke out. No? Oh, captured. Cool. Okay, great. Where is that from? Oh, how did... Okay, hold on. Okay, so where is that? Resh... Resh... Ashiram. Oh! Right before Zekrom? Man, we're even closer then. To the end of... Stop it, Jackson. We only have two legendaries to get for Gens 5. That's insane. We are literally so close to being done with Gen 5. Maybe we should just focus that and get the last of them. Anyway, I've sat here for several nights. So much. So many nights. I think this is the fifth night I set. I set the time to be night. And I'm thinking of doing... Uh, no, it's turning nighttime anyway. I just went and got a snack, so at least that passed the time. But I've, I set the time to night once because I'm getting impatient. Can't believe it's taking this long to spawn this freaking thing. I feel like it's not that hard. I did a test legendary spawn, and it does spawn here at night, so I don't know what's going on, but anyway, I'm going to keep waiting. I'll see you guys when I see one. I'm here. I'm here. Where is it? There it is. Cool. I'm chowing down on some snacks and stuff, but we got it. Okay, here we go. Let's get next to it. Oh, okay, I missed that. It's fine. I'll go like this. Too high. That's a scary sound. Boop. There we go. Alright, we're gonna false swipe. Does a lot of damage. Doesn't do much to me. False swipe. Good. False swipe again. Hey. Okay, it gets damage back. Good to know. Uh, we're gonna... Ouch. Yeah, that's a painful attack. Ouch, and he did it again, and I'm dead. Okay, all right. We're going to put it to sleep. Good. And then we're going to... It is also heavy. So we're going to hope it's not as high catch rate as Zekrom and Reshiram. In terms of the heavy ball, it's a 25%. But with sleep and low health, we... Oh, no. Put it to sleep again. Okay. He gave us three that time. This animation is going to be really long every time because we're so high up in the sky. Give it to me. One, two, three. Ugh. So annoying. Okay, keep putting it to sleep. It was already asleep, and then it woke up. Hypnosis again. Heavy ball again. We're just going to keep doing this. It has the highest chance out of anything we have right now. So, this is what we're doing. Ouch. Not good. Try right again. Still asleep. I wish I was able to get it a little bit lower in terms of health. But that's no big deal. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, thank goodness we got what we wanted. <sighs> it took a long time, and I was getting frustrated. And I was chowing down on some cereal, and then it spawned. Okay. Um... Now we're going home, and the best way to do so is probably just to fly there, to be honest. That's home, right? Yeah, there's only 10,000 blocks. That's not that far. We're going to stop in every mountain biome that we find, because Diancy spawns underground in um, mountain biomes at night, I think? That's what it was. So we're going to stop in each one that we find and wait maybe a couple nights. We should get more, I think. Um, I don't think we're going to find the parameters, the necessary biome for Volcanion, because that's specifically desert lakes. So that's really hard to find. 
We've never found that in any of our deserts. And then Hoopa is another one for Gen 6. And we could, uh, you know, hypothetically get one of those. However, it has a really low catch rate, so I kind of want to wait until I get another Master Ball to try to catch that. Speaking of, do I have a Master Ball? I don't remember. I don't think I do. Oh, I guess I usually keep them in my Ender Chest, huh? Let's check. Let's land up here. I do have one. Okay, good to know. Very cool. Anyway, um, so I guess we could stop in desert. If we find a desert, I mean, if we have find a desert, hopefully it's a desert lakes. But probably not. It's a pretty rare biome. So, <clears throat> since we're probably not going to, basically all that, uh, all it comes down to now, besides just grinding out the last couple of um, generations. All it comes down to now is just finding the correct biomes, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. Like I need, I need a, a Mesa for Landorus for Gen 5. I have the Ice Spikes, that's good. I need the Gravel Hills for that one from Gen 3. I need the Desert Lakes for Volcanion. I need a bunch of just very specific things, um, for both, for all of like these random legendaries and things. Very rare biomes, um, so pretty tough to get, tough stuff to try to find, but, uh, I guess that's just going to come down to randomly exploring and hoping I stumble upon certain biomes. But anyway, I think this episode's probably running really long, so I'm going to end it here. Um, it's good to be back. I'm, I'm happy to be back. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, I hope you've all enjoyed and see you all next time. Goodbye.